this is start with another list here today from Modern Masters 2017. This list focuses on the top commander cards. It wouldn't be a top 10 list, but I put more like 25 cards in here. This is all new cards from my list yesterday. There are incredible cards out there that could have made this list, but I talked about them yesterday, so I'm not going to talk about them today. Yes, the Zendikar fetches, amazing, great for any commander deck, and Crater Hoof could be number two or number three on this list. But there's so many good cards, I want to talk about new stuff. Cavern of Souls, remember to pick it up. Super great card, but moved up to Mythic, it's going to be tough to get. Dishonorable mention here, Dead Eye Navigator. Ooh, I cannot stand this card. It's a personal play style thing. Most of the people who play it don't have a win condition. It just drives me nuts. They try to lock down the board. I know it's not even that great of a card because it's six casting costs and there's lots of ways to disrupt it. It's just a personal one that irks me. And I know a local player who just destroys them, which I put on my Instagram. It just makes me happy to see somebody else with a pet card that they hate the way that I hate Iona. Yes, it can even be fair. Like with Coiling Oracle, not that bad. Evil Twin, kind of a nice little combo there. Just don't pair it with Mystic Snake. Try to lock down the table and not have a wing condition. Honorable mentions. I've got them in every color, including multicolor. The Aristocrat. Ooh, haste makes this very, very relevant. A nice wing condition for your token decks, your goblin decks. Ghostad, great commander, really good for your control decks. And Urban Evolution is one of those cards that just lets you refill your hand and continue to ramp in those blue-green ramp decks. In white here, I've got Flicker Wisp. Amazing card, not just good in death and taxes. The utility here is incredible. And Ranger of Eos is basically a double tutor because white has so many wonderful one drops that are relevant in Commander. Seance. Now, I've kind of just got this on here as a nod to the guy who did the crazy Seance uh, stuff for financial, but it's actually kind of a cool card. And I've seen it played in a fun EDH deck as kind of a build around card. Black is one of the tougher ones in this particular set, although on Burial Rights is just nuts and in auto include in any deck where you've got the right colors and you're playing Reanimator. There's a lot of Reanimator options in this particular set. The Exarch, very, very solid. I like cards that have a body and have multiple options in Commander. And the Noble over here is a wonderful way to get through a win condition when you can't attack. Red is one of the strongest colors in this set. Yes, red has amazing Commander cards. Ancient Grudge, very nice removal. Pyroclasm, wipes the board early and kills a lot of Commanders. And Mizium Mortars is nice removal that also can wipe the board in many cases green we've got fight club here i like this bear a lot very cool little way to remove your opponent's creatures primal command great edh card and thrag tusk should not be underestimated gaining life and getting tokens after board wipe incredible card in commander in blue we've got mist raven forbidden alchemy is one of my absolute favorite cards for reanimator decks the flashback on it you can often play in commander and rewind is just a super cool free counter spell number 10 spot here i've got basilisk caller this is a casual card that is just great I strongly recommend playing it with any type of a token deck, any type that you've got extra little creatures, flying creatures, spirit tokens, whatever it is, really, really helps make sure that people are attacking somebody else. Miracles cards here, made number nine. There's Miracle cards all over this set, and they are great in Commander. Just remember, don't draw them into your hand. Change the way that you draw so that you look at each of your cards on the way. It's casual, most people won't care, but it's a nice habit to have in place. Number eight spot here, I've got Vampire Nighthawk. A lot of people say that this is too weak for Commander. Great blocker, encourages people to go other ways, and in your Voltron decks, this is exactly what you want to put your swords on. Number seven spot here is Hellrider. This little guy is a win condition in your token decks, and there's lots of token enablers in this set. Wonderful card, the fact that it has haste 
is also very, very nice. Number six spot here, we've got Scavenging Ooze. This is an auto include in almost every green deck. The ability to control the graveyard is so essential in commanders. I've seen people scoop when I put out a Scavenging Ooze on turn three or turn four as I clear their graveyard and shut down their entire strategy. Number five spot here, I've got one of the most abusive, powerful, and strong commanders out there, Zur. There are so many good cards to go get. Nevermore, name your opponent's commander. Necropotence, draw all the cards. What more can you ask for in a commander? Number four spot here is Restoration Angel. Incredible utility card. Flash here is what makes the angel great. You can use it for your chump blockers, but you can also use it to reuse abilities like Thrag Tusk. Past in Flames, super powerful card and can be cast twice. Flashback here is super relevant. Yagmas Will is one of the most broken cards ever created, and when they made Past in Flames, it's basically as broken for many decks. Zealous Conscripts. This is one of my absolute favorite cards. I've grabbed Karn Liberated, I've grabbed other Planeswalkers and ultimated them. The fact that you can go after any permanent and grab it till end of turn, this is the type of card that swings games and wins for your aggressive decks. Even if you have a lower casting cost deck, this is an awesome end of the curve. If you've got a ramp deck, this is perfect for grabbing their equipment, equipping it to your creatures, and then swinging through for the win. Number one spot here, Cyclonic Rift with an honorable mention to Venser. What is better than putting everybody's permanents back in their hand at instant speed? This card may even be over the top overpowered. It is a crazy good card and it is well worth picking up. If you're playing blue, you often use it for the two casting cost early on to stabilize, but when you get to play it for seven, you just win. Incredible tempo play card. A lot of the ideas from this list came from the comments of my last video. I wanted to pull out one of those comments in particular. Kennedo, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, basically almost created the whole video himself. He had a wonderful list in the comments. Thank you so much. My next list is going to be what are the best commons for Popper that are in Modern Masters 2017. Leave comments here and if I really like your comment I will feature some of those cards in the list and give you credit. Thank you so much. Thank you to everybody who's over on Patreon supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate it. I'm revamping my Patreon here soon and I've got a big announcement coming about that along with lots more videos. And until next time, choose the cards wisely.